And welcome back. Art is alive and well here in the nation's capital, thanks to good people like Tara Lapointe, who's the Director of Outreach and Business Development, Canada Council for the Arts. Tara, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm very good to, to, to see you. I'm happy to see you. I'm good. 60 years for the Canada Council for the Arts. Is that how long this council has been around for at this point? That's right. Wow. Yeah, the Good. Canada Council is a funder of the arts in Canada. We're a crown corporation, and right now we distribute about $200 million to artists and arts organizations right across the country. That's got to feel pretty good. It feels pretty awesome. Right across the country, so it doesn't matter where you're living, if you're, if you're in the arts, you guys are helping out artists. That's right. Canadian artists who are uh, living and working in Canada, actually living and working abroad as well. But if you're a Canadian, if you're an arts organization or an artist, um, look at our funding programs because there's lots available. Okay. Tell us about the Ajigemo space. Mm -hmm. Ajigemo is a gallery space on the first floor of our corporate headquarters, which mm -hmm. is at, are at 150 Elgin Street near uh, Loray. Uh, our building managers, Morgard, made that space available to the Canada Council to have a gallery. And so we've been populating it with exhibitions that explore and discover the arts in different fields. And we've just opened a new exhibition called Mark the Spot. Okay. So how long has the Ajigemo space been around for then? Uh, we moved into the building three years ago. Mm -hmm. And so the space has been alive and well. Ajigemo, for those who might not know, is an Algonquin word for crossroads. Mm -hmm. And we thought that was a really appropriate name for that space given our location across from City Hall, across from uh, uh -huh. Confederation Park, the National Cap or the uh, NAC rather. So we're right in that kind of hub of uh, arts life in the city. Okay, which is a good spot because you must is. get a lot of visitors. We get lots of traffic through the building, about uh, more than a thousand people through the building every single day. Every single day mm -hmm. to visit this. Now, is there is there a cost for to check out these exits? No, it's a public space, and so if uh, you're familiar with that intersection at the back of the building is Sconewich, at the front of the building is Becta. So, if you have reason to be walking through that area, this is a wonderful place to pause and take a few minutes and discover art. Okay. So, what is Mark the Spot all about? Mark the Spot is a really exciting exhibition, and we did this specifically for the 60th anniversary of the Canada Council. We wanted to talk about what is the art scene today? Mm -hmm. And we hired an amazing curator named Wayne Bearwald. He currently lives in Saskatchewan. And his proposal was instead of just having a static exhibition of art against the wall, but it would be to invite artists, living, working artists, to actually come and create in the space. Mm. So for the first time ever, we're hosting three different artists in residence over the course of this exhibition. Okay, so we need to get to these artists. Now, one of the artists has already come and gone. Is, is that correct? That's that's right. Michael okay. Morris had okay. his residency last month, and his work is still up in the space. Okay, so let's talk about uh, Michael Morris. We're seeing some pictures. So there, there's the man himself. Yeah. And, uh, and so let's talk about he as an artist. Sure. Michael Morris is uh, an acclaimed painter in Canada. He uh, really got his inspiration and start around the, the centennial, so around 1967. He has been creating work for 50 years. Wow. He is held in every major collection, including the National Gallery here in Ottawa. And he was working on um, these watercolor uh, sketches that are going to be the inspiration for a new piece of art that he's going to create this year called Ottawa Letter. Oh, that's wonderful. That's mm -hmm. incredible. So, so with artists in residence such as this, I mean, it's obviously a, an amazing learning tool. Absolutely. It's a real opportunity for exchange. So while Michael was in the space, he was doing tours every day with um, different education groups. He was connecting with other artists and with other arts institutions. And we're going to maintain that through the next two residencies. Okay. All right, on to number two. Uh, this is uh, this person great for if you're a hockey fan. <laughs> Can you tell us about it? So it's Thierry Marceau. Thierry Marceau is the artist. Yeah. He is a performance and video artist. And his work is going to be uh, 180 from the work that's currently there. Mm -hmm. He is working on a video recreation of the wedding of Wayne Gretzky to Janet Jones. Okay. Which was one of Canada's first real kind of paparazzi like celebrity royalty, weddings. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so he's kind of exploring that relationship with the media um, and that kind of idea of celebrity. And so every day in the space, he's, uh, he'll join us on the 30th of October. He is going to transform himself into Wayne Gretzky as part of his residency and invite people to come and have that conversation and be part of it. 
That's incredible. Mm -hmm. and, and that, so I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that there's going to be more than a thousand people a day coming through for that. <laughs> I sure hope once so. Once people get word of that, because the great one, of course, is royalty here in Canada. Uh, the third uh, artist is Catherine Boyer. She's a Winnipeg-based uh, Métis artist. She works in beadwork, the most exquisite, uh, intricate, beautiful beadwork. And Catherine, during her residency, is actually going to open up her kind of workshop space to beading circles and will mm. invite members of the community to come and create new beaded work with her. We That's really beautiful. can't wait. So sorry, when is she going to be here? December 7th. December 7th. What is the Art Bank all about here in Ottawa? Sure. The Art Bank is a program of the Canada Council and it's an art rental uh, program. We have 17,000 works of Canadian contemporary art. You'll see some of them up in the Adjigamo space over the course of this exhibition. Okay. But we rent work to corporate and pri uh, public sector offices across the city and actually right across Canada. Okay. If people want more information on what you do with the Canada Council for the Arts or even about the Adjigamo space, I mean, where's the best place to get in contact with you? We are on uh, Facebook and uh, our website is canacouncil.ca. Yeah, because all you want to do is help out artists. Exactly. And I know this city, as you know, Ottawa, is just full of so many different different types of musicians and entertainers, comedians, artwork, like it's crazy, right? So Absolutely. I know that you're looking for people to contact you and find out more. Absolutely. It's a vibrant scene and we're happy to be part of it. Tara LaPointe, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. We look forward to checking out Mark the Spot. Coming up shorthanded, it's a ladies game. It's coming uh, to Osgood. We've got more details next on Daytime.